I've always been able to notice people with disabilities. Every time I walk into a room and I scan for people, it's like they're the normal and everybody else is different. Ever since I was little, I always wanted to be a teacher. And then when I got a little bit older, I realised that I actually wanted to be a teacher for people with disabilities. So that passion for me has, I've literally grown up with it. I think that the litmus test for the love of Jesus being displayed within a church is how many people within the community that are different <laughs> or have disabilities. And Jesus was really good at that. He was always able to reach those that the world didn't want to reach and he got the most fulfillment out of that. So I was really encouraged to see that families were starting to join our church community that had little people with disabilities or grown up people with disabilities. And I'd started to see that there was a big need, but it was more than a need, it was a necessity because like, it's a real challenge to even get to church. You already feel isolated because you feel different. Um, and it shouldn't be the way, different should be the normal. I approached Sue and said, look, I've got an idea. And she was like, great, can you do it? <laughs> Which wasn't really the answer I was after, but I'm really glad that uh, she said that to me because um, yeah, it's been sitting in my heart for a long time. So we started Wonder Ministries and we've started with a few families. It's being modeled off, uh, there's a couple of churches in the States that do disability ministry and they work on a buddy system where there's a couple of people that are specific to one family or one child and they're their point of contact. And so their prayer covering, their meeting them at the door, their spending time with the kids or taking them out to children's church so that parents can sit in and listen to the sermon, which might seem like a small thing, but for some families, it's just an impossibility at times. This ministry is, is, will be a big one because there's more and more families who have a lot of challenges and disability doesn't just cover uh, like a physical disability or intellectual, it's as big as mental health. I think a, a big vision for this ministry would be not just for the families involved, but actually for the rest of the church community to learn how to love and look after these families because oftentimes it's not that they don't want to love them, but they just are not sure what to do, so they end up standing back because they don't know how to communicate or whether that will be awkward or misunderstood. So I would love the church to be able to embrace everybody that walks through the door and not, not be fearful of making a mistake or making people feel uncomfortable because love crosses every boundary. I really need people just to flock. <laughs> just come to me with, with their volunteering hearts and just be challenged about the way they see people and the way they love people and to go that step further to being a part of someone else's family in a really real and genuine way. It's based on the scripture that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And so Wonder Ministries is a way of capturing the wonder of the way that the world is seen through the eyes of those that have disabilities. Mm -hmm.